Welcome back, Blade Gang. This old sword with you. And we have a Zavivi in the house today, a new one. I was hoping to get this a little sooner. No fault of the mail or White Mountain Knives. I just didn't jump on it as soon as I should have. Hence, I can't scoop the Blade community. There's been a few reviews out on this guy already. <clears throat> And this is, let's show you the box rather than unbox it. This is the Riffle in brown micarta. I'm getting a sort of light there, brown micarta. It's kind of a golden brown, slightly translucent. <clears throat> this is the gray bladed model. Let's not hesitate. And let's pop it out. All the usual Civivi emblems, stickers, microfiber cloths, and pouch. But here's what really matters. This is the Riffle. And I was watching um, Jared over at Neves and Ives on uh, his review today and he loved it right out of the box and said how super the action was. I could not agree more. It's practically drop shutty for a knife this light. Opens beautifully with a finger flick, thumb flick, or flipper. Detent, a little on the light side, but just shaking it, I can't get it to come out. If I do a um, do one of these guys, if I had more room, yeah, I can get it to pop out. But let's not focus on that too much. We've got a beautiful knife here. Very lightweight. Very fidget friendly. Um, take a closer look before we dive into the details. Got a really nice jimped uh, liner locking bar. Got a wide open um, slot that enables you to do your thumb and middle finger opens. We got a little bit of a back spacer. Material is really nice, this brown micarta. The clip is is it reversible? Hmm. Looks like it could be, should be. When I get to the specs, it will tell me, because I'm going to read you some specs off of the Knife Center. <clears throat> Even though this came from White Mountain Knives, so got to give credit where credit is due, no matter whether I'm reading specs or buying the knife. Beautiful, lightweight. EDC flipper. Zoom in just a tad while I read these off. So we've got a blade length of 3.46 inches or 88 millimeters. Closed length of 4.52 inches. Overall 7.98 inches. Could it be any closer to 8 inches? I suppose. Sandvik 14C28N stainless, a blade thickness of 3 millimeters or 0.118, hardness in HRC of 58 to 60 Rockwell. It is a drop point blade, flat grind, stone wash, brown micarta, handle thickness of 0.47, nice and slim. Liner material is stainless steel. It runs on caged ceramic bearings, and they are beautiful in the action they give. And yes, I've just confirmed it's tip-up, right or left-hand carry. They concealed that quite nicely. A weight of only 3.38 ounces. And it has a micarta backspacer. So, I think that covers it. Very light knife. Um... Great feel. 
as I was demonstrating, super action, no matter how you decide to open it up. A little easier for the uh, middle finger flick because you can get your nail in there. Thumb flicks are not always so positive only because these edges on the steel here are chamfered to keep you from getting a little gouge or a cut. Um, as I often mention, Spyderco knives uh, with a hole, they generally don't finish the edge of that very much and hence you have a little sharper edge there that gives you more grab on your finger. Nice stone wash pocket clip. Brighter, not blackened. Blackened everything is kind of nice until it wears. And then it looks kind of worn in, but you may like that. Ergos are great, simple, useful, and uh, Guess what? We got another Wii family blade here that I did a review on uh, very recently. And um, all titanium on this one. You can check out the review. For the time being, I've forgotten the name. But I'll remember it probably put it in in the text. Amazing with all these knives how you complain about there being just numbers and then sometimes when they give you a name you forget it. Yeah so it's the Fornix. <laughs> I stopped the video for a second because I felt embarrassed. The Fornix all titanium and 20 CV blade so you got some real premium materials on that one. Um, this one doesn't suffer for lack of them. Um, it's really beautiful. Riffle, by the way, I look up these names. Fornix ended up being an arch in the brain. And the riffle means to kind of sort through the pages of a book, lightly turn or kind of peruse through, turn something over, turn pages turn a book over, what have you, riffle. I know uh, they used to say, well, you rifle through something, you actually riffle through it. So it is R-I-F-F-L-E. Um, won't get too much further into uh, language studies today. <laughs> um, interestingly enough, when I saw that brown micarta, I thought of this guy which is the Keen Natter. See, I remembered that name. A kind of whole different knife. What I am noticing is, you see how the micarta is kind of dried out on that one? And you can oil these with a little mineral oil or even vegetable oil. And um, this one came through a little slightly wet with oil as though they added some. This doesn't have a dryness problem. It's actually quite nice. Put a little oil on this one, it'll look the same. Notice that side's not so bad. But interesting, when you're dealing with um, canvas micarta, or even linen micarta, but mainly canvas micarta, they do tend to look a little dry. Anyway, I did a review on this guy, the Keen Natter, so don't forget to check that out. They're both really nice knives. Um, <clears throat> Pricing, um, this came in, let's see what they do come in at. I can tell you what, Knife Center is charging $55 for the riffle. MSRP of 65 So if you were to go up to White Mountain Knives, and I'll put a link in the description, don't forget to use your 10% off discount code, Old Sword, and you'll get this for a few bucks less, at least five, six bucks less. Free shipping and no tax. So, wonderful things. The Riffle. Um, they're doing a great job with all the Civivis, especially lately. Um, hard to go wrong with a Civivi. The... Um, 
the bearings they ride this thing on is just so smooth it's unbelievable one flip out one flip closed no problem you can have fun with this guy all day long it's a viable EDC no lock rock no blade play and sharp as the dickens on that high flat grind T8 hardware and we do have a lanyard pin in the back I forgot to mention that so you lanyard buffs got a place to uh, loop it through right there well I hope you enjoyed this review I don't know what more there is to say on a really nice budget Civivi EDC flipper and thumb opener the Civivi Riffle R-I-F-F-L-E if you like this review don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I'll be back with more this old sword signing out